the the third big point Ron talked about was building the brand narrative. And uh, he covered five key questions. And you can always tell when someone has phenomenal content and a lot of it is he went through these very fast. And if you were out for a walk or you're driving your car or wherever you were, I doubt you had the chance to uh, write these all down. And this is one of the reasons we do these follow-up episodes because there's when there's gold dropping out there and great nuggets, I want you to get them. And this particular one is about building your, pers- your brand narrative. And there are five questions he referenced. And I want to go over these because I believe that when you listen to this, you should do this as an exercise for your business. In fact, I'm going to institute this inside Buffini Company. I believe this needs to be an annual assessment of your brand narrative so that your brand stays relevant and your the service and the products you offer are absolutely meeting the need of the market. So the first thing he said is, what's going on in the world? Right, so it's what's going on in the market, what's going on in the in the customer experience, and we've we've had all these things from pandemics to wars to lockdowns to all these uh, work from home, uh, all, all these different dynamic changes. The Great Resignation, we talked about that for a moment. So what's going on in the world? You know, we talked about the restaurant business and how restaurants have the last couple of years have all developed some form of takeout or delivery, and yet that is a very different business than in the sit down, dining, have a great experience experience. And so what's going on in the world? The second great question we all need to ask is, what problem does that create? So here's what's going on in the world. What problem does that create? I mean, ultimately all of marketing is find a need, fill a need. All entrepreneurship, find a need, fill a need. Well, this is a very specific way to do that with your existing products and services. So what's going on in the world? What problem does that create? Third, fundamentally, what do you believe about that problem? So fundamentally, what do you believe? It's very important that your products and services are aligned with what you believe the solution is or should be. Otherwise, you're you're working to just make a buck and you're not being true or authentic. There's no way for you to align your personal brand if your values are not aligned. So it's, it can't just be, I think this is how I can make money. Now he talked about it taken all the way through to how can you make money? So that's very important. But fundamentally, what do you believe about the problem? Next, how do you solve the problem? Which is the product, service, support. What, how do you support that problem? Your pricing, everything goes into that. How do you solve that problem? And why should we believe you? Why should we believe you? And that's where you get into customer t- testimonials, track record, um, third-party endorsements, uh, cross, uh, cross-branding, all of that. Uh, these are five great questions. What's going on in the world? What does that problem create? Fundamentally, what do you believe about that problem? How do you solve that problem? And uh, why should we believe you? Now, Ron said this is overly simplistic, and it might be for the giant uh, think tanks that charge a fortune to try to uh, many times, not always, but sometimes blind people with BS, you know, they say baffle them with BS. Uh, but for me, this is an exercise you do every year, and it's a great example of the brand narrative. <laughs>